For this part, we're going to divide it into four separate steps. The first thing we're going to do is develop an entire stock part. I'm going to create a new sketch on the XY plane. Pan down to see the positive X, positive Y quadrant, and draw a two-point rectangle that's our overall height and overall width. I see that I have five and one-eighth as my width, tab, and I have one and three-quarters as my overall height. Enter. I'll finish the sketch and I'll extrude the entire shape into the screen so that I have a negative Z, an entire depth of two and three quarters. Click on Home View. The next thing we're going to do is create the slot in the top. Create a new sketch on the top. I'm going to create a two point rectangle that has a coincident on my edge to the other edge. I'll create an overall width of the slot of 5 eighths of an inch. To center the slot, I'm going to use the horizontal tool. I'm going to make the line that we just created horizontal with the overall line of the part. That will center it for us. I'll finish sketch and extrude the cut down into the part 0.75. Now that we have that created, we're ready to create our chamfers. What I need you to notice is they have an overall height of one and three quarters, and remaining height of three quarters tells us that the taller chamfer is one inch. Here we have a remaining dimension of one inch and an overall height of one and three quarters, so we have a shorter chamfer of three quarters of an inch. All chamfers are at a 45 degree chamfer, three quarters, that will be our short one for the front and the back. Chamfer, one inch, and that will create our left side and our right side. And we should have a completed part.